Hello and welcome back to the recap for November of 2000, 2016. Um, it's actually been a year since I've started on YouTube. I think my first video came out uh, on in, in mid-November. I was in my, in my mind I had December, but I checked and I think the first match, uh, the first video, which was a Lizardman match in Blood Bowl, I put out in mid to end November at some point. I don't ex remember the exact date, but this means it mean it's been one year. So still in here, and I have no plans of leaving. <laughs> So, first of all, as always, we are welcoming 15 new subscribers today, so 1-5. Uh, a little bit less than the month, be month, month before, I can talk right now, as always, so I'm going to lift. How about that? Okay, let's get back to this. So, uh, thank you all very much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy what I do, and uh, yeah, that you're going to stick around for future things to come. This puts us up at about 220 subscribers right now, and yeah, we're, we're getting up there. So, my, my plan or my, my goal without any reference was to get 100 subscribers in the first year, and I've uh, surpassed that a while ago, about 5 months or so, something like that. So I'm pretty happy about that, of course, and I just hope that we can move on from there. And even though growth... It uh, has been a bit slower in terms of subscribers, in terms of actual content being watched, it has been a really good month again. So, in terms of views, or view time, let's start with the view time. Last month it was at about 80,000 minutes watched over the entire month. And, <coughs> excuse me, this month it has been 100,000 minutes, so 20,000 more. And that's quite a lot, actually. Uh, I think my uh, Blood Bowl match against the Sage had something to do with that, because he, of course, um, is a does have a YouTube channel as well, with over 1,000 subscribers, I think, and he's streaming very regularly on Twitch, so we probably had some stragglers there coming in. Uh, so if you're still here, hello and welcome, and everybody else of, as well, of course. But overall, the view time has been really good again. Uh, this is also reflected in the views, so the clicks itself. Last se last season, last month, we had 4.6 thousand there, and this month it's 5.8. Uh, so, also about a fifth more. And yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, but that's it for the numbers portions. Everything else is pretty much ordinary. The average view time is still the same. And we are, yeah, just moving out of the numbers. I'm considering maybe showing some on screen at some point so to really so that you can follow everything a little bit easier, but I'm I'm not sure about that yet. Overall, the GMA uh, the, the the Blood Bowl videos have been really good again, but I do have to point out in terms of views and bringing in views, more time has actually been really good as well because um, in uh, usually in the top 10 videos uh, that I can see that have the most view time, you see maybe one more time video and a lot of Blood Bowl. But this time, the, the more time video that is in there is just very telling because it is the Let's Play video 7, which is the first video of my Sisters of Sigmar playthrough. So after I did the tutorials back uh, in the day, I started on video 7 with the Sisters of Sigmar campaign, and I think uh, the view time there was 1,600 minutes on its own or something like that, so 40 or 50 people watch that video alone in that month. So a lot of people are watching the older more time stuff and are trying to catch up, and uh, that's pretty cool. And it's nice to see that, that it it was watched so many times that even though it's it, it's a 30 mini, 30 mini vi minute video, in comparison, the Blood Bowl videos are usually an hour to an hour and a half, as you all know, or maybe even two hours, depending on, on the, the match. Um, so that it even shows up in the statistic there in the top ten is, is pretty telling, I think, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, yeah, but that's it for the, the numbers. So we can move back into... Let's, let's start with more time. So, 
Uh, the Witch Hunters are still going strong. The Undead as well. I had an unfortunate hiccup with the Undead Warband where I recorded two episodes without audio because I plugged in my webcam and that made my recording software think it should use the microphone of the webcam, which I had deactivated, and it just overwrote my uh, settings that it should use my, my Rode Podcaster microphone here. And so there were two episodes uh, back to back that uh, didn't, have, didn't have any commentary because I noticed it afterwards. Uh, but I fixed that and it shouldn't happen again, so uh, that's okay. Aside from that, more time is still going pretty good in, in, in all parts, as you've already heard. So there is not much to tell there. We're going to continue with how it is right now. Um, next up is Blood Bowl, and Blood Bowl, of course, is doing its thing. So right now, the G-Man League Season 4 is ending, the Wreck of League Season 3 is ending, so both of those are at least for now out of the picture, but it's just going to be a few weeks before they pick up again, so when we start into Seasons 5, respectively 4, and uh, yeah, aside from that, we are nearing the end of the life cycle for the Lizardman team, and there will be a vote soon on what team that they will be replaced by, and um, the Skaven are also on their way out, because they're at 45 matches right now, I think, something along those lines. So I'm still aiming at the 50 there. And yeah, overall, the, they're all pretty doing pretty okay. And we've got the Orcs, who are still my best performers there, and I hope you're still all enjoying those matches as well. They're, they're getting some good views there, I think. Uh, it always depends a bit on the enemy, some are more watched than others. Um, I think Necromantic are among the more interesting matches that get watched. But we'll... I'll, I, I, I can't back that up right now with, with actual facts. It's just what I feel like but looking at the, at the, uh, at the views of the, the videos. Yeah, so in more, uh, I think in Blood Bowl news, that is pretty much it. In terms of other stuff this month we had inside and i really liked inside that game was so weird it's a puzzle platformer by um, playdead the same uh, company that did limbo which i previously played and i really liked that game it's pretty pretty good and i if you haven't watched yet i highly recommend it um it, it's really an interesting game and they 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 don't explain anything, you have to decide for yourself what some stuff means, and they, they just play with some interesting things there, and I, I really enjoyed it. And with Inside now done, because it's uh, it's not a long game, uh, I think it was six episodes plus one for something special there, um, we move on, and by the time this video will come out, the first episode of, of what follows inside is going to be out, and that game will be DMC Devil May Cry. So the Devil May Cry reboot, which was is said to be a good or a decent hack and slash game, but a bad Devil May Cry game, because it's a Devil May Cry reboot, and a lot of the fans and uh, felt cheated and didn't like the reboot of the characters, Dante and Virgil, and whatever else you have there. I'm not a diehard Devil May Cry fan, so it wasn't a big issue for me, and I enjoyed the game for what it is. The only Devil May Cry game I played before, I think, was 4, and that's the direct follow-up to this. It's not DMC 5, it's the reboot, so it's DMC Devil May Cry. And uh, I liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. I actually played it the entirety uh, of the game already, which should tell you how much I enjoyed it. I think I played the entire game in three or four days, and it was a lot of fun. So this is going to, the episodes there are going to move through the entirety of December into a little bit of January as well. So there will be a lot, but it, it's an awesome game. I had a lot of fun, and the music is pretty good. It gives you a nice beat, and uh, I hope you will go check it out. And I actually just got two copyright claims there on visual content and not on every video, which I feared might happen because Bandai Namco, I think, is the publisher there. Um, they're among those that do copyright claim stuff like that, uh, unfortunately. It happens. I could dispute them, but I probably would lose because it's not fair use, I think, but I might try. 
So DMC is going to be a thing, and I'm I'm looking forward to 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 what you think about that. And yeah, that's it for that. And so in the future, there in the near future, there's going to be some changes because I want to stream more, and I am going to stream more, and I've already taken steps towards that. And from now on out, every Wednesday, I will stream the game Darkest Dungeon. Uh, at um, on my Twitch, basically, and you can see a description for, or you can find my Twitch uh, three uh, channel in the description down below. It's in there. And for anybody that doesn't know Darkest Dungeon, it's a. I don't really know to describe it. It's another of those games that has permanent deaths and consequences and makes you hate yourself. It's a really good game. And isn't it weird to say stuff like that right after I I talk about it that way? I don't know. Um, it's a pretty fun game. You have a party of four and you go into a dungeon and you have skills and defeat monsters and you have to level up and finally take on the darkest dungeon, which is the darkest dungeon itself, and you have to do stuff there. Uh, I'm. It, it's not really a blind playthrough that I'm doing there. I've uh, played it when it came out a bit, but I never finished it and I was actually far away from finishing it. Um, and I've watched a whole lot of it on YouTube though uh, some of the YouTubers that I myself watch have played the game and I enjoy watching them and I still watch the game so I know a lot of what is going on but I have not, not a lot of experience myself and I don't know everything so I will make mistakes and deaths will be will be in there so that is what I'm going to stream, and um, yeah, so that's Wednesdays, every Wednesday from 8 to 11 p.m. Central European time, so GMT plus 1 or CET. Um, and I hope you will join me and uh, see what I can do. You will also see my face there, because I use, uh, I, I've started to use my webcam on streaming, and I've actually bought some green, green stuff to set up. I'm still waiting to get some of it delivered, so that you don't have the, the ugly... Um, the ugly background and just my ugly face apparently uh, it's just so that I don't have the, the big corner there and we can just have um, the green screen working hopefully because I don't know how it's going to work in practice yet, we'll, we'll see about that but yeah, that's the plan and uh, I think it's going to fit in pretty well with what, what I do already here and that's why I chose that game and it's, it's going to take a long time, I think, to, to play through that. And even then, I could still do New Game Plus or mods, because it does have some mod support. So we'll see. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to playing that as well. And I do still have other games planned uh, that I want to play. I've been talking about uh, Transistor, and I've recently picked up Enslaved Odyssey to the West, which is a nice action-adventure that I played when it came out on Xbox 360. And... I might want to play that again, but I'm considering streaming those as well in the future. But for now, I'm going to focus on Darkest Dungeon, probably. I'm not sure yet, I've talked about it last time a bit, um, how I'm going to proceed or how um, uh, Deathwing Space Hulk is going to work out. Because I've played in the beta and I actually like the game. I, I think it's okay for what it is and I will probably play it and I, I think that I am going to stream. But I know that, that at least Game Night, who I wanted to play with, uh, wasn't that enthusiastic about it anymore after seeing the beta. So I'm not sure if that has changed by now or not. So we'll have to wait and see if there's going to be some, some, some cooperative stuff in that regard. I hope so, but we can't say yet. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But um, I'm at least going to give the game a try. I I pre-ordered it. I know you shouldn't do that, but I did. So we'll we'll see what will happen there. And um, I think it could be fun for for what it is. We'll we'll see how it turns out when when it's released live. It's it's always difficult. The beta gave you a glimpse, but it doesn't necessarily tell the whole story yet. So we'll have to wait there. But yeah. I think that is pretty much everything again for today. So once again, thank you very much to our newcomers for subscribing and thanks to all of you that are watching me and enjoying what I do here. 
and I will try to get better and do more stuff. And I hope you will join me on Twitch as well with what I want to do there because I really enjoy doing Twitch as well. So I hope we can combine the two things and that it will work out and not cannibalize each other or anything. So, yeah. This is where we're going to end the recap for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and tell me what you think. And if you want to see me do more stuff here, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.